Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with a rivalry that uh, is near and dear to my heart, and that is the White Sox against the Cubs. The Crosstown Cubs, the North Siders. We're going to take the 2020 uh, teams. The 2020 White Sox were 81 and 81, and the 2020 Cubs were 74 and 88, and we will have a game between those two. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go to league. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. We're going to go to new unscheduled game, and we're going to go to the league, and it's going to be the uh 2022 major leagues and we're gonna we're gonna play this one we're not gonna give the cubs fan fans any excuses we're gonna play this one um in uh wrigley field so 2022 major leagues we'll take the chicago nl as the um We're going to, this is going to be a July, they're going to be the home team, and this will be a July game during the day, because I like day games. Um, and they will be controlled by the computer. And we, I, you know what, I'm not even going to pitch Dylan Cease. I'm going to make it easier on them. I'm not going to pitch our best pitcher. I'm going to go with... Uh, Although Cueto was good. Actually, their whole pitching staff was pretty good. But I'm, you know what? No, Giolito, he's... You know what? I'm going to go with Lance Lynn. We're going we're gonna to take Lance Lynn and put him on the mound. And now I'm going to take a uh, look at the lineup and see if, that's, if these are the guys I want playing. Looks pretty much like that is the lineup, though. We're going up against Hendricks, who's a righty, who is a 9R. So we want as many lefties in the lineup as we can get. Now, Lurie, Gar Lurie Garcia, I know, is terrible, but he can bat left-handed. Um, you know what? I'm going to put him at second because he can bat left-handed. Although, really, yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do. I, I would probably move Moncada up a little bit in the lineup. Even, really even in front of Sheets. Okay, so there's my lineup. So, um, our lineup is going to be Tim Anderson at shortstop, Vaughn in right, Robert in center, Abreu at first, Moncada at third base, the DH will be Sheets, Pollock will be in left field, Grandal at catcher, and Larry Garcia at second base, and we've got Lynn on the mound. And they're the computer, and we're human, and we're in Wrigley, and so let's go. Let's go. Let's get ready to rumble. So, uh, Tim Anderson leading off against Hendrick, who is awesome. I have him on my uh, strat team, so, you know, I like the guy. And that looks like that's going to be a base hit for Timmy Anderson. And let's see if he can get a lead and try to steal. I'm going to say... Um, let's see. Yeah, let's try it. And he, let's see, steal. He didn't get a lead, but he's still 60%. I'm going to try it. And he made it. Nice. And so now we're going to let Vaughn hit. Of course, I call Vaughn, my, uh, my name for Vaughn is um, Mr. Vanilla, because he's not really all that great of a hitter, I don't think. He's not that he's not that great of a player. I think I the White Sox could find some teams backups that are better. Uh, you know what? Uh, Sixty percent. I'm going to hold him. I'm going to hold him because we got no outs and we've got um, Lewis Robert up. So two men on with no outs. 
And that's going to be a deep fly ball. That might get the run in. I am going to send the lead runner, and I am going to send the trailing runner. And did the trailing runner? Ah, the trailing runner looks like he got thrown out. All right, so Abreu is up. Uh, let's see if he can go deep on Hendricks. He cannot. <laughs> so that's going to be an out, and we are in. We're going to the bottom of the first. And Lance Lynn is out there for us, pitching to Rafael Ortega. And I don't even know why I risked all that in the top of the first, because really the Cubs were worse than the White Sox. We'll probably beat them anyway, at least I'm hoping. Contreras is up, and he is going to strike out. And that brings up being half with two down and nobody on. And the, did he fly out? He did. So we've got Moncada up. And he's going to swing away. And that's going to be a fly out to Ortega, it looks like. And that brings Sheets to the plate. Mr. Sheets, we're going to swing away with Sheets. There, I'm... You know, I'm not a big fan of trying to avoid the shift or work around the shift or whatever because players aren't very, they weren't very big on it. So Pollock is up. And Pollock, he got into, he got to put a charge into that ball, but he looks like he's out and he is. And so we're back in the field. We're still up one nothing and pitching to Seiya Suzuki is the first batter for the Cubs here in their second inning. And uh, that is going to be a walk. And so Patrick Wisdom, in all of his wisdom, is up. And what happened there? Ball four again. Lynn walking the first two guys of the inning. And that brings up Nico Horner, who is a tough customer. And it looks like he's... Um, is he, did he fly out? Yeah. So there's one down, runners at first and second, and Jan Gomes is the batter. Jan Gomes for the Cubs here, and that is going to be an out. And it is a double play, so we're out of the inning. And Grand Dahl is the batter, top of the third. Our leadoff hitter in the top of the third is, he has Monte Grand Dahl, who goes the other way for a single, and that brings up Lurie Garcia, and I am going to, I believe, I'm going to try to sacrifice Bunt and move the man over. And it does. It works, and now Tim Anderson is the batter with a man at second and one down. But it looks like he flew out to Ortega. So there's two down, and Vaughn up. He's one for one on the day, though, Mr. Vanilla. And he goes the other way, and it is going to be an out. So we're going to the bottom of the third. The Cubs are losing to our White Sox, one nothing. And Rivas, Alonzo Rivas, is the batter. And it looks like he's going to fly out to Robert. One away. And uh, Christopher Morell, tough customer this year. He's even better this year than he was last year, and he wasn't bad last year. Um, looks like that's going to be a base hit, though, I would say. Yeah. So Ortega is the batter. Man on, one down. Lynn Sovar pitching pretty good. Um, but right there, it looks like he just allowed a double. Gone. No, it's a home run. It's a home run. It's not even a double. All right. So it's two to one Cubs now. And Wilson Contreras is up. Lynn giving up the dong right there. And that is going to be an out. And that brings up being Hap. So, if we, you know, let's get Hap and let's get back in the dugout, limit the damage. But no, he goes shopping at the gap and he's going to have a double probably. And he does. 
Seiya Suzuki is the batter. And he... Man, an heir by a brave. And that brings up wisdom. Thank God wisdom wasn't that great. And he strikes out. So Lynn does work his way out of that uh, situation. And uh, now we're losing 2-1. to one. I'm going to swing away with Robert. I'm not going to try to avoid the shift. And is that a base hit? Did he get on? No, that's an out. And uh, Breu is up. Come on, Breu. Hit it out. I know you're an Astro now, but. And he listened to me, and it is gone. That thing has got to be gone. It is. So it's a tie game, and Moncada is the batter. Again, not trying to avoid the shift at all. And he strikes out, and that brings up Sheets. Sheets, not a good hitter last year, and really even a worse hitter this year. But he can put a charge into a ball when he gets a hold of one. He walks, though, and Pollock comes up with two down and a man at Sheets at first. And he's out on strike. So Pollock struck out, and that brings Nico Horner up as the first batter for the Cubs here in the fourth in a tie game at two. And that's going to be a base hit. Horner is aboard at first with Jan Gomes up. I didn't think about it, but I would have taken off the, uh, I would have taken off the, you know, the ghosty at second rule. I didn't think to do that because I hate that rule. I think it's stupid. It is asininely stupid. Um, I am going to stop the runner. So we've got runners at the corners with one down and Morell up. Lynn, not pitching real well here. He's not impressing me. And that is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. If we can get Ortega, we can go back into the dugout still tied. He has a home run, though. And that is going to be an out. So we do go to the top of the fifth. We are in a tie game with the Cubs. Grandall is the batter. He's one for one today against Hendricks, who is pitching pretty well. I mean, both neither pitcher is really that impressive, but they're not really that bad either. Lurie Garcia with no outs and Grandall aboard. Going to let him hit this time, and he gets a base hit. He rewards us with a base hit. Now, Tim Anderson is up with runners at the corners, no outs. Let's see what they do. And Tim Anderson weaves that ball right through the infield to knock a run in, and we have a 3-2 to two lead with Mr. Vanella at the plate himself, Andrew Vaughn, and they're going to bring in a, uh, a pitcher, and that's going to be Keenan Thompson. And he loads the bases with a walk, and um, Lewis Robert is up. Bases loaded, no outs, and that could be a at least a fly ball. You know what? I am going to send the lead runner. I just saw 75%, and I liked it. I'm going to send the trailing runner, too. So we've got one out, but we have a 4-2 to two lead, and runners are at second and third with Mr. Abreu up. And he struck out. So Moncada's up. We've got a chance here to score these runners, and we blew it. But we do have a two-run lead now. It's 4-2. to two. We go to the bottom of the fifth. i got to keep an eye on Lynn because he really has not been all that impressive. Um, hasn't been horrible, but he hasn't been impressive. Strike three, though. He gets the first batter, and Ian Happ is up with one down and nobody on here in the Cubs' fifth. And uh, he is going to be out. So there's two down, and Seiya Suzuki is up. And that's it. So 
We go to the top of the sixth inning with Sheets up, not having a great day. He's 0 for 1. I think he walked. And he's hit by a pitch right there. So he's at first, and Pollock is up with no outs and a man at first. And uh, that was a pass ball, I suppose. So Sheets went to second, and Pollock is the batter. And he fouled that one back. So he stayed alive to get what is going to be an out fly ball out to left field. One down. Yes, Monty Grandall up. He's one for one today. And also, I think he had a walk. And he's going to pop out to Horner. And that brings up Garcia, who's one for one, and he had a uh, sacrifice, successful sacrifice. And he is going to ground out. So, Lynn is out there for the sixth. We're going to let him pitch the sixth. He's going to start off by dealing with Wisdom, Patrick Wisdom, who strikes out. And then he's going to deal to Nico Horner. And Nico Horner is going to be out quick two down and Jan Gomes, the batter for the Cubs. In this Crosstown game, not series, it would normally be a series. And did Jan Gomes go deep? Home run for Jan Gomes? Get out of here. All right, so it's 4-3. We still have the lead, and Rivas is the batter. I can't believe Jan Gomes went yard. I'm still not even getting over that. And that's going to be a base hit for Rivas. I think uh, Lynn is near the end of the rope here. And Morell is up, and we're going to throw for him. Doesn't hurt to try. And he is out. Nice. So, um, Tim Anderson's up. He's two for three today, top of the seventh. And you can bet I am going to replace Lynn when we go back out into the field. But there's a base, unless we, like, score a ton of runs here. Because I am a big guy. I'm like an old school guy. I like to see starters go as long as possible. Vaughn is up, but I you know, want to win this game, too. So, Mr. Vanilla strikes out, and Lewis Robert is up. One on, one out. And that's a nice base hit there by Lewis Robert. Two are on with one down and Abreu, the batter. A nice, another home run would be great, Abreu. Another one. And he does hit another one for me. Is it? Did he? No, it's foul. But did he? Did he do it? Fair ball, home run. He did it again. I called both of them. So now I guess maybe we will let Lynn pitch the seventh because now we've got a little bit of rope to play with. It's seven to three, and I'm going to let Moncada swing away. And Moncada is going to go shopping at the gap for maybe a double. And that is what he gets, and Sheets is the batter. And I don't really need to look at anybody on the field or in, in my batting order. I'm just going to let Sheets hit. And he is out. There's two down, and Pollock is the batter. Man at second. And that's going to be a pop out. And that takes us to the seventh. And I am going to. Let Lynn pitch at least the seven. Because again, I'm I'm old school. So that's an out. And Ortega is up with one down, nobody on. And that's going to be an out. And that brings up Contreras. And Contreras, did he get a base hit out of that? He did not. So we're back up, and uh, Grandall is the batter. Did he walk? He did. Garcia's up. I'm going to let him hit it, you know? I mean, 
Did he get a base hit? No. No, that was a fielder's choice. So we've got the Tim, the hot Tim Anderson, who is three for four, and he just hit into a double play. No, he didn't. No, it was a fielder's choice. And now we've got Vaughn up at the plate with a man at second and two away. And that is going to be it for Mr. Lynn. Seen enough of Lynn. I'm going to bring in Graveman. So Kendall Graveman is going to come on and pitch to Ian Happ. We've got a four-run lead here in the bottom of the eighth at Wrigley, at friendly Wrigley, which I have been to maybe three times. I think I've been to Wrigley Field three times. And Suzuki is up, and I've been to the White Sox Park two or three times. So that's two down, and Patrick Wisdom is the batter. And he strikes out. So we're going to the top of the ninth here. We've got Lewis Robert uh, batting against Keenan Thompson. And he is going to be out. There's one down. Abreu is up. He's two for four with two home runs, both of which I told him to hit before he hit. This time I don't really care. He doesn't have to. And he didn't, so he listened to me. He said, all right, well, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. And then Moncada is up, and we're going to let him swing away. Not going to try to avoid the shift. And that's the strikeout, and we're going to the bottom of... Oh, no, no, he's not out yet. Now he did. Now he struck out. We're going to... I think we're going to go to the pen again. And I'm going to even make it interesting and bring in uh, Ruiz. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to give the Cubs a fighting chance here by bringing Ruiz in to deal to Horner. All right, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> maybe that really wasn't a great idea. So it uh, looks like it's 7-4, to four and it is. And that brings up Jan Gomes, who has homered already in this game. One for three with a jack, but he strikes out. There's one down, and Revis is up. And Revis strikes out. Ruiz throwing the gas, and that brings Christopher Morell to the plate. And did he get... No, no, he walked him. So we've got... Ortega up with a man at first, a 7-4 lead. And he strikes out Ortega. So that is going to be the ball game. And let's get that box score for you. So that's what everybody did. Lin went seven. He allowed seven hits, walked two, struck out nine, and allowed three earned runs. Graveman went one uh, very perfect inning. And then Ruiz went one less than perfect inning, but still did um, end up uh, allowing us to win the game by not allowing um, four runs. So we win the game 7-4, to four, and we have beaten the Crosstown Cubbies. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.